Kyber AI is a really powerful video generation app and it uses AI technology to create really amazing videos from a text prompt. These are some of the few that I just created in the last few hours. And you could also do other things besides typing in text to get a video. You could upload your own existing images to turn into video. You could actually take existing videos that you've shot or downloaded and turn those into animation and things like that. You could also take in a music or audio file and it will create a whole video around it. They also have an entire gallery on their website so you could see a lot of the different creations made with Kyber here. You could just hover over any one of them and see the full animation and it is searchable as well. To get access to Kyber, go to kyber.ai. I'll link it below as well. And then you could press start a free trial here and then go ahead and register an account. And this is credit based, but you do have to subscribe. The seven day free trial is available right now, but after that you will get charged. I believe their plans start at $5 a month. And once you do sign up, you will just have to come over here to press create a video and that will bring you to this page. And over here, you'll see your credits. So depending on your plan, you will have a number of credits here. Each time you create a video, it will use credits. So I'll point that out so you don't just keep pressing create a video every time I use up your credits quickly. It really depends on the length of the video, how much credit is going to take up. Now here you're going to get four different options, these four different boxes. The first one is uploading an image and it will start a video using that as a base, transforming an existing video, basically stylizing a video. I've turned videos of myself, for example, into a full animation. I'm going to show you this towards the end. This one is one of the most powerful ways of creating videos of ever seen. And then you could also create basically these music videos using these type of Kyber AI animations with a song or audio file as your base. But the most common way and the way you should get started is just writing a text prompt. So this one I could click here and this one has a couple of different pages. So this is the very first page that you're going to land into. And the prompt section actually has two different parts to it. So right on top you'll see this is what you want to see. So it says describe the subject. And then the style actually has a separate box. One of my favorite things about this though is inside of the subject box, basically describing what I want to see, it gives you some ideas. So if you want to see a futuristic cyberpunk, that's an idea of something that you could put into this box. But what's really useful is under style, look at all these different styles. So cinematic, photorealistic, some of them have a little bit of a preview over here, 3D rendering. So usually I like to start with cinematic or photorealistic and he fills in the whole style. Photo taken on film, vintage, private press, masterpiece cinematic. So it's using all these different descriptive words to put into my style. If I click photorealistic, it's gonna give me something totally different. So this is really, really useful to basically start with a prompt. That's the subject of what you want to see and the style. And Kyber also has a guide that shows you exactly how to type in these prompts. So basically these are the five things that I want you to add. Subject, so what you want to see, a futuristic cyberpunk in this case. Preposition details, so any additional details. So spaceship in the distance, for example, that will be additional detail that I could add. Setting, well, futuristic is a setting, so I have that already. Then it says to add meta modifiers and styling. So a lot of these are what's considered meta modifiers and styling options. So you want to have something from all those different five elements to really get the best results here. So that's going to be this very page, this very first page. And I'm going to go to the video settings tab now. This is the second page. So the first page was to kind of define what the image that starts our video is going to look like. Now this is going to set up our video. So duration, you could go all the way up to an entire minute, which is a very, very useful option. By default is eight seconds. I'm going to go down to six seconds to not use up so much credit. Aspect ratio. So if you're going to TikTok, for example, with these vertical framing or Instagram reel on YouTube, that's 16 by nine. I'm just going to regular movie looking video. 16 by nine is good. Camera movement. This basically changes how the camera moves in the scene. So if you select it to none, the camera doesn't move at all actually. But I really like one of these options like zoom in or zoom out. So I'll do zoom out in this case, but this is the all camera movements. Evolve makes a big difference. So this number goes from one all the way to 10. If you go all the way to 10, 
it gets really wild. The image is going to constantly shift and evolve. But if you get it really close to one or two, it's not going to move all that much. So I could bring it to one and it's not going to be that wild. A lot of times you could just start in the middle to see what you get and then generate another version depending on which direction you want to go. So for a music video, for example, I like something close to seven, eight for just when I'm trying to do a storyboard, a regular type of previous type work or uh, animation type work. I just want it to be closer to one boomerang. This will basically play the video and reverse the video. So this is an option that you could use. I don't have this checked on, but you can check this on or off as well. Now it says I'm going to use up six credits here by doing this clip. So I'm going to go to preview so far, by the way, I'm not getting charged at all. No credit is being charged, even though I have 286. It's not going to do anything until I on this third page, I press create video. So now in a few seconds, I should get four different frames. OK, so if you click on these frames, this is basically going to be your starting frame, how your video is going to start. But you could start with any one of these. You could see they're completely different. This one actually has a person in it. This one, all these three don't have a person. This one looks really cool. But let me start with this one here and see what it looks like. And then on this side, it's going to give you all your settings. So you're going to get the summary of your prompt and your style, your duration, size and your camera movement. And then here it's going to show you that frame that is going to start the video as soon as I create the video. But let me show you one more thing here before I create the video. You also have storyboard. So storyboard brings you back to the very first prompt page, but it basically is creating a second different scene basically. So I could start with that one shot and then describe a second shot that maybe now the spaceship soldier walking out. OK, so I could do something like that and then I could go ahead and leave everything else the same and then go to video setting. And then this time I'm going to do maybe a rotate clockwise type of a scene and leave everything the same and preview this one. So this way I could create a whole story shot by shot. Every time I create a storyboard, it's going to create a shot Then I could imagine the shot that should go after that one. So this one is giving me the close up on that spaceship here and I could go to it from here. But let me go back to storyboard one. This is the one we're going to start with. And with any of these, after you're all set, you could just press generate video or create video here. So here I'm making both storyboard one and storyboard two. So I could show you both of those. And this process does take a bit of time. Sometimes it takes as long as 10 minutes in the times that I've tried it. Then I'll show you exactly the output. But then at the end too, I'm going to show you that other option where you upload an existing video and turn it into a really powerful animation. OK, let me go to full screen here to show you just what that looks like. So you could see this is the zoom out effect. So it's slowly zooming out and then it's going to transition to my second clip here, which is going to slowly zoom in to the bottom of that spaceship. So this again is just a 12 second clip that I created here. Really, really powerful. Again, my slider was close to one and two, so it doesn't really have that much movement to the frame except the time where I kind of had that pivot into the bottom of the spaceship for my second shot. So you could create with the storyboard option many, many shots and tell a story to make a one minute video, for example, or even longer. And I could press share here. This creates a link. I could go ahead and copy this or email it. But I typically just press download and download it to my computer. And this is a little bit on the low res side, so it's not kind of full HD. It looks pretty good, though, but you can upgrade or upscale to 4K video or 1080p video. Those are available here, too, but they do require a higher plan than I have here. And if you go to the video tab here, all your videos will appear over here that you create and they are also searchable. Now, let me press create a video again. I want to show you transforming an existing video. This one really blew my mind. And I have this video here of this model running here on a beach. So it's about six seconds long. I'm going to go ahead and open this video and I'll put it over here. And this basically I got this from another platform that I subscribe to. So I get all my royalty free images, photos, music, everything from here. And these video files, they have thousands, hundreds of thousands of different video files. And I got a running clip here. Because now I found with those other type of images, if I have a copyright free image, I could transform it to anything I want. And it's really, really powerful. Now I'm going to go ahead and press continue to prompt. 
And I'm gonna get a similar box as before. So I'm gonna use kind of the same thing, the futuristic cyberpunk. I'm not gonna give any more detail here. And the style, I could choose lots of different styles, but I'm gonna choose photorealistic here, but it's gonna put it in the style, but you could turn someone into a 3D rendering, for example, oil painting, all kinds of different options available. I'm gonna to go to video settings. And again, remember transform, the lower we go, the more stable this is going to be. So I'm gonna leave it on the most stable to kind of get a more realistic movement. And here you're not gonna have all the other settings, the camera movements and all those things are gonna come from the video that you uploaded, your own video. So now I'm gonna to go to preview frame. Again, this is six seconds because that's the length of my clip. Make sure you don't add something that's a minute long because it will take up a ton of your credits. So if you don't wanna use up all your credits, don't do that. It's gonna create four different images again. Let me let this finish up here. And here I chose one of the frames, but let me go to my video tab while that's going on. And I wanna show you basically the version that I did this with and look how good this looks. And look at this video here, it created that cyberpunk video of that model running on the beach. This looks really incredible. I also downloaded this other clip from Envato Elements of someone running and I turned them into an Egyptian warrior. Let me show you this one. This is a 3D model of an Egyptian warrior. Look at this. He even put a pyramid in the background here. And this is basically that same video clip just by dragging and dropping into Kyber. I get this kind of style out of it. Really incredible. We're also finishing up an entire Netflix style platform for learning AI. So you'll see complete courses here on things like Mid Journey with lots of different tutorials. We're also adding entire courses to video creation platforms like Runway and Kyber. And we have complete courses on generative AI covering everything from ChatGPT to image creation with Dolly and Mid Journey and a whole lot more. So make sure you sign up for the wait list. It is almost ready and I'll notify you via email as soon as it is. I hope you found this one useful and I'll see you next time.